Hey guys, happy Sunday. I figured I would do kind of like a very mini vlog today. Um, mainly because I haven't done a plan with me video. Well, I think I did do one recently, but I have just been like, I go through these moments where I'm just like, I don't feel like really planning, but then I do. But then you like feel this pressure of wanting to film a video so that, you know, like you can just be posting and be consistent. So I figured I would bring you guys into what I love about planning. It is a very relaxing and therapeutic and fun process for me. I hate sitting at my desk planning. It is literally like the thing I despise is probably kind of a dramatic word, but I am kind of a dramatic person. So I despise it because my back be hurting and then I just want to relax, lay up against the pillow and kind of like chill out. So I'm actually in my bed right now. And I have all my planning stuff around me. So let me show you what I have. This is my lazy Sunday, you guys. So I got my planners over here. I got some of my stickers out, my power sheets, some more stickers. And then this is my best friend, Trello. This is what I use basically as my project manager for all of my businesses. At this point, um, in a few months, I will officially have, let me see, one, two, three businesses I had to think for a second so I use Tre Trello quite a bit to just really get me organized and navigated um this thing I do need to really update this though because I go back and forth like sometimes I'm really into this and doing it and then other times I'm really into writing stuff down so I go back and forth but what I really love about Trello is just how I can if I have a new project I can literally create a Trello board for it and so I have like all kinds of boards over here you guys this is not sponsored by the way I'm just showing you kind of my planning routine currently and how I do it but yeah so I just have some different things going on over here so I just wanted to kind of share that but yeah I love using it so um, if I'm not planning typically that's because I'm on here between this and my Google Calendar um, this is what I really love to use I'm sitting <laughs> I'm sitting here Emory asleep Evan stepped out to go to the store so i'm just kind of like enjoying my time right now y'all enjoying my time i was sitting at my desk and i was just like what am i doing right now just sitting there i'm in the middle of reading um you're a badass at making money which is really good so far i think i'm getting ready to be on chapter three now but it's amazing how not even with money but just in general how our mindset can just really stop us from the goodness that we could be experiencing and you guys know i'm so big on that whole fear thing thank you guys to those of you that have signed up so far and given me some good feedback i really hope it is helping you and that you really do overcome but it just it's so interesting how that same topic that mindset that doubt um it can still just affect so many things and money is another one of those things so i'm really liking that book so far um, I think that it is so important to have a healthy relationship with money in a lot of different capacities. So it's interesting. I knew that it was something that I wanted to read this year. I actually have a couple books I want to read and I'm trying to get back into actually physically reading a book, y'all. Like um, for a while I was really into Audible and doing all that stuff, but I'm actually holding a book, reading it, and it feels good. So I'll see if I can keep it up, but it's kind of difficult to find the time, especially during the week. Um, so this weekend, I finally was like, I cracked it open. I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to read as much of this as possible. Take advantage of my husband being here. So um, if you guys are like me and you're struggling to read a physical book, don't even like be hard on yourself because life is hard out here. It's hard. So one of my favorite shops is Chic Blossom Prints. I just really love her stuff. I really want to get some more kits from her. Um, I've mentioned this before, but I am like such a bad planner person when it comes to like buying a ton of stickers and stuff. Like when I first started planning, y'all, I literally went crazy. I got stickers for every situation you could think of. So I kind of set myself up to have basically all the stickers I need, except for like, you know, like full kits. But because I'm such a functional planner for the most part, like I don't mind having white space and all of that, um, I always usually just find myself kind of just sticking with what I already have and uh, figuring it out. But I am running low on just like decorative stuff and I don't wanna always just use my own stuff. Like I love my stuff, of course, but I'm always looking for new 
shops to check out and try and Chic Blossom Prince is just one of my favorites. Her stuff is just really pretty, but this is actually a kit that I had probably a year ago. I'm so bad about using kits up because I don't use up a ton of space, but this kit is called Coziness, Coziness and Winter Reading, and it's this pretty like pastel pink with a silver. And then this is another one of the pages. I think I'm gonna use these little date cover up stickers. But it's just like a nice cozy type of kit. And then I also love Jameson Redesign. She's another one of my favorites. Um, and I have this kit from her that's also a year old that I still needed to use. But I'm thinking about combining these together to make a really pretty spread for this week. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. But I think it's a nice vibe too because I finished my boxes and I'm feeling so good. So I want this will, this, this will? I want this week to be so chill and I want it to be an opportunity for me to kind of like rest my mind, take a break and then just kind of get re-energized for the next go round. I have like another big launch coming up next month and some other stuff. So I want this to be just kind of like that week before the calm before the storm begins with a ton of like designing and all that stuff. So I really want this week to be um, the week after I do the boxes. I always just kind of zen out. Um, I do a lot more. Uh, what is the word? I do a lot more taking things in than creating and putting things out just for my own sanity and to just kind of give myself that break. But I'm going to go ahead and decorate and start putting these stickers down and then I will kind of show you guys how it's looking. But I love this little color palette. It is so pretty and I'm loving this foil. Oh my gosh, I literally just broke my tripod, y'all. Like, let me show you my bootleg setup I've actually been using for a while to use my phone to record. Uh, so this is just a regular tripod. I think I'm going to need to buy a better setup, but this is like a regular tripod. And then I have a selfie stick, stick attached to the tripod. And my little piece just broke, y'all. Like, it's done. It, um, something broke off. So it's completely done. And this is what I have left to look at. I can't put my phone in there. I was going to kind of try to prep it so you guys could still watch me plan. So I'll just have to show you what it looks like as I'm working on it, I guess. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sitting here watching Kira Linnell. Um, I love her. If you guys do not watch her on YouTube, definitely check her channel out. But I'm laughing because um, they're trying to do some cupcake baking with her son. And um, he's two. And y'all, it's it's definitely a struggle when you're trying to do stuff with kids. That's all I'm going to say. So I'm just cracking up because I can relate so much. We tried to do a gingerbread house with Emery and it was just not that great. But. Um, I'm looking through my plans. I wanted to look at my tending list for, where is my tending list, y'all? Oh, no, I never even filled out my tending list for February. What the heck? This is real life, y'all. I thought I did. Well, this was the stuff that I wanted to get done, so I'll just look over here. I was trying to see how I've been doing with everything to know what I wanted to try to finish up in this last week of February. I don't really, which most weeks is like this, I don't really have a ton of stuff to really write down all like that, but I have a couple things, so I went ahead and put those on there. I hope Sunday or just this next weekend coming up that I can take some time to just kind of like do some chill stuff, you know, have a nice little bath, start planning because it's the new month and all of that, even though I'm going to try to just plan in general, maybe I'll just write that March planning because that kind of ends up being what I do this last week. And then that way I'm not saving it all till Sunday, which it's not a lot. I've shared my monthly planning routine with you guys before, but I do like to just do a little bit of that. I actually need to go grocery shopping too. But yeah, that is basically what I got going on this week. I'm just waiting for little Miss Emery to wake up. Let's see what she's doing right now. She might still be asleep. She'd be getting the best sleep of her life, y'all. 
oh no, she's fully awake. Can you see? Let me turn the brightness. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go get her so she can say hi. She literally just got up, but um, yeah, so now it's not gonna be as chill, obviously. Hi! You got, you got a little bit of some lint in your hair. Can I get it out? There we go. But yeah, so we are just getting ready to hang out till that dad comes back. Where's that dad? Do you know? Um, yeah, so. Sundays are always interesting because I'm also getting ready to take her to or getting her together to take her for her one day of daycare that she goes to um, once a week. So getting that stuff prepped, just like what she's going to wear, try to get her hair together just to make my morning a lot easier. Yeah, you're fully talking and mama is talking. What you saying? He's not in there. He left, but he's coming back. Did you know he was coming back? Yay. Yay. <laughs> it's a very condensed version of ABCs, but I love it. I love it. But yeah, one thing we've been doing with her recently, I saw this um, before I even had a daughter. Like, we started this thing that we do with her. She's still learning to talk, obviously. But we started telling her, we're going to say our thingy that we do. We say this all the time. All right. Say, I'm beautiful. I'm smart. I can do anything. Yay. Yay. Really? Yeah, you can do anything. Uh, Did you know you could do anything? Hey. <laughs> Um, but I just love that. I love instilling early that you can do anything because I think a lot of us as women, those little girls are still inside of us and that little girl holds us back from accomplishing those things. So I really want her to be a strong woman and um, I really think that something like this, you know, words are power, guys. So. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. Is it crazy? Is it birthday? Is it rain? 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 <laughs> we gotta get you together, chick. But yeah, so that's what I'm getting ready to do is just get her together. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can finish up my planning and stuff as well a little bit later so that I can finish this video up. But hopefully you guys are enjoying. I know a couple of you guys said that you missed Emery, so now you get a chance to see her. I know it's been a little bit. She is just growing up. Dada's not here. You looking for your dada? He's not here yet. He'll be here soon. Yeah, he coming. Where's Milo? Hello. 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 Does anybody else's toddler do that where they literally just, they go and they grab something or whatever, and then they like dip, like they take off. Um, she books it like no other.
it's hard doing her hair, but if you have snacks and a good show, she'll let you. All I did was just put it in some parts and just kind of detangle it so tomorrow it'll be easier. But I'll be taking these out before she goes to sleep. It's just like an easier way for me. Does anybody else do that? Try to make your life easier the night before. Are you clapping? Clap, 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 clap. But it's just like some loose, loose ponytails to just hold the parts in place. So then when I get up in the morning, the parts will still be there. And then I can actually like style it the right way, if that makes any sense. But that's definitely part of my Sunday routine is getting her hair together. And I forgot what you're gonna wear. What are you gonna put on tomorrow? What are you gonna put on tomorrow? What are you gonna wear? All right, this vlog is wrapping up because I want to chill out for Sunday and finish planning and everything. But Evan is finally back. Yesterday, y'all, he did. What are you? What is the thing that you do on the grill? Smoke. Smoke. The chicken. I don't eat ribs. Well, I try not to eat them. But um, the chicken was so good you had like some wood chips on there or something yeah you guys can see the boxes behind me i had to take them to the post office but um anyway i wanted to show you guys that evan surprised me with something that i have been asking him to get me for a while now i could have went and got it myself but wow <laughs> We got these crazy people out here, so I got my pepper spray again. Pep, but pepper gel. I wonder if there's a difference. You can't spray it in the house, though. You said you can't? Yeah. Well, what do you mean? Because uh, it will contaminate everything in the house. What's Wait, you said it will contaminate everything in the house and what? Yeah. That's how you're going to be? What's wrong? What's even happening? Oh, you gotta watch out. Um, well, I would probably be doing it outside anyway, right? Well, it's also huh? something better would come in here. But you said you can't use it in the house. Yeah. What? I'm saying if somebody came in the house, you wouldn't be able to use it, like in the house on the first, or it's gonna contaminate. You'd have to leave Bye, me. So basically, nobody is safe. I Okay, so I was just in here complaining about how I feel like I'm in a show hole and we don't have anything to watch, which I would love some recommendations on shows to check out on like Netflix, Hulu, I guess a show on regular TV. I kind of like when I could just watch something and not have to wait, but um, yeah, leave recommendations. But Evan just found this show. We watch this show called Married at First Sight all the time. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. And now there is a, <laughs> you call it the bootleg version. Yeah. It's not bootleg though, but hi, Emery. <laughs> it's um, it's called Love Is Blind on Netflix. So we're getting ready to watch that right now. It looks really good. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's more so like where the couples get to interact with each other, and then it looks like they get married. Yeah. But can somebody mm -hmm. please tell me when did Netflix start doing shows where you gotta wait? Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but we... yeah, it says new episodes every Thursday. Netflix supposed to be the binge, uh, the binge app. Yeah, but it looks, I mean, there's 10 episodes already. Maybe that was before. Still. Oh, like if we would have caught it when it first came on? Yeah. Well, still, that's a long time to be waiting once a week for Netflix. I mean. Oh, this episode right here is available February 27th. So. Hmm. So it's still currently on. Well, we're going to go ahead and watch that. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I got some candy over here. 
that I'm trying to hide. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, From the camera, you're not supposed to be eating stuff. Can you say bye bye? Wave, bye bye. <laughs> All right, guys, see you next time. Bye.